Dark mode is an essential feature of modern web apps and if your users don't have it yet, they may be feeling a bit left out. But all is not lost. In this video, I'll show you a simple way to implement dark mode in an Angular app with Tailwind CSS. And a bonus will also store that dark mode value in the browser's local storage so that the user's preferences about it are actually remembered by the app. Sounds nice? So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to create a new app. So we're going to do that with in version 16 CLI ng new the standalone flag and just follow the directions next we're going to add tailwind css to our project now to do that we have a few steps which we can follow by going to the tailwind css official documentation and i've linked that in the description so once you follow all those steps tailwind css is all set to be used okay so let's create a basic ui now to show our dark mode let's add a basic container with a slight slate background then we'll add a toolbar with a teal color and some styling to make it look good. We'll add a title and an icon button. Now for the icons, we'll use the material icons library. So we'll simply add the link for the library to the index.html file here like this. Great. Now we can add the material icon for dark mode and light mode within the button. Next, we're going to align this to the right by using justify bit flexbox. Let's test this out. Great. And we can see our layout is looking good. Now before moving further, let's add our signal, which will contain the dark mode value. So let's add a signal and this will have a boolean type and an initial value of false which is the light mode then let's use the signals value to show and hide the dark and light mode icons using the ngf directives so when we have dark mode enabled we'll have the light mode icon show and when we have the dark mode disabled we'll have the dark mode icon show to test this out properly let's also add the click handler and simply toggle the value of the dark mode signal there so we will set the dark modes value using set and we're just going to invert the dark mode's existing value. Great, simple enough. Okay, now it's time to test this out and see whether the icon changes state. Now, when we click on this dark mode icon, we're going to see that it switches to the light mode icon. And then when we click on it, we are going to switch back to the dark mode icon again. This means that our dark mode signal is toggling between the states nicely. Great. Okay, now let's also add some simple animation on the button so that it feels more interactive. So we're going to add some flex and some alignments. And we're going to add some transition transform with hover scale and let's see how this looks now and now when we hover over it we can see that the size changes a bit and it looks attractive great it looks good now okay that's all fine and well but our dark mode is only toggled in the signal and it has no effect on any of the styles of the page to do that we'll use the tailwind css built-in dark mode feature now for tailwind css we need to do three things to enable dark mode the first is we need to add a config to the tailwind config.js file and that config is dark mode which is going to set, be set to class now this config file should have been automatically created when you install tailwind css according to the docs i linked to in the description before okay so the second step is to add the dark class name to the topmost or root element of the app here we can simply use the host binding decorator in angular so we're going to add a host binding decorator and we'll enable class to dark in the host element of the app component to get its value we're going to use a getter function and we're going to return the signals value now whenever the signals value changes the dark class is applied or removed from the host element the last step is to add dark variants to our template files so that tailwind css knows which styles to apply when the dark mode is enabled so we'll add a dark slate background to the container and a dark slate background to the toolbar as well and let's test this out okay so now when we enable the dark mode we can see that our dark variants are applied we switch back to light we can see the light is there. okay so from here on you can build upon the ui further as an example i already have a cart list already added with dark variants so we can test them out so let me add this component quickly to my template and let us just test this out so it's a block card and you can when you put in the dark mode you can see that it switches to its dark variant as well and you can see the whole ui turning beautifully dark with our toggle but you expand it you can see the whole block in a better way great now one last thing when we refresh the browser we'll see the dark mode reverts to the light mode by default so when we do refresh we'll see that it falls to light mode now this can be a bit annoying for regular users to your site who would want you to remember their earlier preference so let's go ahead and sync up this dark mode setting with local storage of the browser so it remembers the user's preference for next time the app refreshes. Now with Angular Signals in version 16, we have an effect primitive, which is perfect for this use case. So let's define an effect in the constructor of the app component and simply set the dark mode signals value to local storage. We're going to set a new item dark mode and we're going to stringify the dark mode signals value here. Now this effect will be called whenever the signals value changes, including the initial value. But we want the initial value now to be fetched from local storage. So let's add that change as well. So we are going to remove false from it and then add window.localstorage.getItemDarkMode. Now it can also be that it is initially not present or null. 
now in that case we'll add false so that we can have an initial value of false great now let's test this out properly again and you can see that we have dark mode by default now when we go into light mode and then we go into dark mode again and then refresh the browser we can see that the browser remembers our value and to make it more clear we can also go in our application developer tools and we can see the dark mode value and when we switch between them you can see that it's perfectly synced with our dark mode signals value this is the power of signals great so i hope you found this video useful and if you did please consider subscribing to my channel so that i can keep bringing you more videos like this thanks for watching